Well, it's summer. The summer solstice happened just a little bit ago, 1154 this morning. And apparently Mother Nature got the memo because it's actually feeling somewhat summery out there. Now temperatures are going to still trend slightly below average today, but the fact that the sun is out and it's not storming, it's a, well, those are both huge pluses. The problem is we're not going to be able to hang on to these nicer conditions for very long heading into the upcoming weekend. One departing system rolling up through New England states and another developing one back to the west. And unfortunately, this one's going to throw Waves of showers and storms our direction over the next couple of days. One already brewing out towards St. Louis. And uh, this is going to be the potential for some fairly nasty, severe weather potential later on today off to our west northwest. But rounds of showers and storms diving south and east and eventually impacting parts of the Commonwealth more than once going into the weekend. Cold front that went through yesterday is stalled and it's going to bubble back north as a warm front tomorrow and uh, assist in the firing of some of these storms. So they've blown an enhanced risk for severe storms up across Illinois, back through a good chunk of Missouri, and it cuts off just at the uh, Kentucky border there. And we've still got our slight to uh, marginal risk as you get into western Kentucky. It's going to be a complex of storms diving south and east and then eventually impacting us uh, primarily overnight. So it says Friday, but it's really not until late this evening and probably into early tomorrow morning. And notice how the threat drops off as you head east, an indication of that weakening round of storms, but they could still hold together enough to pack a little bit of a punch overnight. Saturday, a marginal risk with the main threat off to the west, and it's much the same into Sunday, which basically means we've got a daily chance for more showers and storms. The uh, seemingly never ending cavalcade of waves of showers and storms keeps up this weekend after our brief break today. The future track showing that late this evening, probably after dinner, likely a little closer to midnight. It'll dive south and east. We'll have this wave dropping in. The highest threat for potential impact from severe weather is going to be along 65 and west, just kind of clipping the western fringe of our viewing area, and you can see it diminishing. It may come in a couple of waves. The future track trying to latch on to additional development tomorrow morning, diving southeast, and then a break into the afternoon and evening, and then the potential by Saturday night and Sunday for some additional scattered showers and storms as a cold front approaches from out west. That'll get in here late in the weekend, early next week. So yeah, sadly, we've got to deal with this active weather. Not only could it be strong too severe, we could be dealing with locally heavy rain as well, and of course, We've been through the ringer on that one this week. 72 now. Enjoy that sunshine. We've got a wind that's for the time being calm. It's warm. It's still on the muggy side and it's just feeling summery out there. Get out and gra get the grass cut today. Do whatever you have to do before the additional waves start tracking our way because the first one could be here overnight and then we could deal with additional on again, off again shower and storm chances through what looks like it's going to be a fairly active weekend. Now there is some hope. After we get a cold front through here Sunday night, Monday, and deal with our last wave, that we may finally get into a more summery pattern with a ridge of high pressure anchored southeast and just general heat, partly sunny skies, and a lower end shower and storm chance. So fingers crossed, yeah, we can hold on to that one toward the end of next week. All right, Tom, looks good. Thank you, Rob.